Hey, what's up guys? It's Morn here, and I am here with another um, YouTube video for you guys today. Like here, for, I'm here with another YouTube video for you guys today. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff in the test realm, which is what we are currently in. Um, some current updates being... Okay. Oh, I think I see the problem here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So if I click on this, that's a little bit more. New daily assignment. Earn rewards for playing blah 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 blah. You guys can all that later. New daily assignment rewards. Now, whenever you first get the uh, quest from that guy, he'll tell you to go and fight like a gobbler scavenger or something, a scavenger gobbler. And whenever you go and fight it, after you're done or whatever, there's all this fancy talk and blah 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 and all that happens. I already completed the quest, although, hang on, I think it's him. Yeah, let me do it again on a different one of my videos so you guys can see how it goes. But anyways, today my video is going to be about Wizard 101 in the new test room updates, and I'm going to be doing a lot of fishing, or as much fishing as I can, and I'm going to be doing a lot of uh, looking around. Um, we're going to go through the different schools in the future, yada, yada, yada. Anyways, so, first things first, since I'm above level 12, I don't have a, um, hang on, I don't have my, what's it called? I don't have my mount on my balance wheel, so I don't have a mount on the team, so I'll just walk. Alright, let's see. Alright. So, you go in here, and a message will pop up over on the side with all those bubbles, all the character face bubbles. Anyway, this is the guy you have to talk to. Aegon, Aegon Staff. Aha! You've seen the signs, haven't you? Why, signs of the end of the spiral, of course! Peculiarities, instances of pure impossibility! You may not have seen them yet, but you will! The Gravulum Order has detected increasing numbers of Pecrons all across the spiral. Pecrons? Why, they're invisible micro-magic particles that exist and don't exist at the same time! In concentration, they create peculiarities! That's the theory, at least. The Gravulum Order is dedicated to investigating this frightening trend, and we need your help. Take this Gravulum badge and get a reading from the Gobblers on Colossus Boulevard. Do this, and we might even invite you into the Order! And this is what the Hello, thing young wizard. Like. You should come see me in Ravenwood. I think you're going to want to hear what I have to say. As you can see, there's already a lot of people on test throw. Just kind of searching around. This is the first day of it so far, so... And I'm gonna try my best to get a live stream set up for Monday on a Twitch. I'm gonna create a Twitch account and do a live stream of this. Of, well, just stuff in Test Realm in general. I don't know how that's gonna go because I've never done a live stream before, but I'm definitely gonna try it. So I guess we'll just have to find out how that works out in the end. Um, Alright, so I think we only need one of them. Yeah. Um, but. I don't even, yeah, we don't even need, I don't even think we need Colossal for this. I should have taken out, out my item card. Uh, 
Oh, oh well, whatever. Wait, guys. <laughs> I thought I had some leftover Samsung PC in my and my uh, trigger card deck. I guess not. One of my friends should be logging onto the game soon. Oh, also in case you didn't notice, a lot of the um, the symbols, the pictures on the cards, like the little band-aid looking thing down at the bottom on Sandstorm. I think that means all. I don't know for sure. I mean, I'm pretty sure that means all, but I don't know why they would put a little band-aid somewhere. Like that, but it just doesn't make that sense to me. Alright. we got my little gobbler. Hello? Hello? Do you, do you hear me? Oh, good! The badge is working. Orange reading. Pegron concentrations there are average. Good! Come back to Ravenwood. I wonder what happened with the Pegron rating large average. He said the end of the spider -Man. all relative, right? The end of the spiral, the creation of the spiral. Blah 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 blah. The spiral was created from some giant civil war between the uh, titans. Well done, young wizard! Good news! You're a full-fledged member of the Graphulum Order now! Oh my Together, God. we'll figure out this peculiar business. Seriously? I think one of the guys that was making this quest storyline thingy he just got really bored one like one day and just came up with this idea and was like yeah we should put this in a game because we have nothing else to do for like an entire year i mean it's a far which i'm going to be showing day, you guys later and i'll give you yeah. a creature or location to test you won't need to return i'll get the reading from your badge remotely oh and take this gravulum lodestone for your house if you prefer use that to get your daily assignment very well, until tomorrow then! So, I've already used, tried to use the uh, Gravulum Lodestone, and it works. Uh, Gravulum had it. I love that badge, by the way. It just sounds awesome. Anyway, so that's the uh, first quest. Now I'm going to show you the Gravulum Lodestone and what it does. Okay, so we're going to go to my storm and do that, because I really don't feel like waiting. Recording. Okie dokie. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh. All right. So we are now gonna go to the Colton Palace. And we're gonna do the. Are we gonna set the gravelum lodestone down? I've already done a bit of fishing in Tesserum in Zafaria, and I'll show you a few of the fish I caught. And then also going to do a bit of fishing on this recording. I got this uh, new ABS or OBS. Not really new or anything, but this open broadcaster software. Um, people usually use it for streaming, but it can also be used to do recordings. Today's assignment is to get a reading by defeating one of these creatures in this location. Good luck! So we need to defeat a Sorrow Whisperer in the Village of Sorrow. And, uh, and apparently the assignments do have a time limit of some sort. Anyway, so this, anyway, this is what it looks like whenever you get in. So basically, day one, if you complete the quest, you get 600 gold, obviously. Day two is 900. And then, what I've, what I've noticed is, this, there, like, down here at day 12, there's this little exclamation mark. Not exactly sure what that means. I think we might get a quest or something from it, but... I think it's pretty cool. Uh, day 4 you get 10 crowns, day 9 you get 15, day 14 you get 25 crowns. So you get a little bit of um, some crowns along the way, such as you're trying to save up with all the, you know, earn crown ideas or whatever. That's a good way to do it. And then day 5, 10, and 15 you get these little chests. So every 5 days you get a little chest. And these chests, they have a mystery surprise. Let me turn the uh, music volume off, or the game volume off for a sec. Anyways, so gold, this row is all gold. This row has two golds and some, I'm not even sure what that is. I'm still going to assume that it's some sort of questing thing. Day three, you get 
day three, eight, and thirteen, you get arena tickets. Day four, nine, and fourteen, you get crowns. And day five, ten, and fifteen, you get chests. So, a common theory that I've, or something I've heard or seen so far, is uh, that the chests are probably going to end up dropping just, you know, simple things like jewels or something like that. But what I'm hoping is that they drop rare reagents or something that's like really hard to get. Like day 15, maybe you get an amber drop or something like that. What I'm hoping is that they don't drop anything too overpowered because I gotta be honest with you. This game, I, I don't have a problem with the game and I don't have a problem with the overpowered stats. I'm just saying that they do kind of need to take a break from adding stat improvements for a bit. Not too long, just a little bit. And um, that'll definitely help. Anyways. So, I'm going to go ahead and do the little quest he gave me, and we will turn, once I do the quest, I'll return to my castle, check that out, and after that, when I, after that I'm going to head over to the Arcanum and show you guys the um, new spells that the teachers give us. Um, I got some, it's kind of interesting though, because a lot of the new spells, which I'm not going to say yet, um, you can look them up if you want, but you know, a lot of the new spells. I never would have, I never would have thought that um, Ki would even think about adding them as trainable. And then the light, like the uh, life one that they added, the new one that you can train is. A, uh, I'm gonna give you a little bit here. Is the uh, life's rank eight spell? It's forest lord. So what I'm thinking in my head is like, okay, well, what am I gonna use that for? I don't have a life mastery amulet. I mean, if they had put the uh, life rank 7 in there, you know, I could use that, but what? how am I supposed to use Forest Lord? Maybe you can just train, maybe you just train it just to have it? I don't know. But, it, just something new, I guess. And I mean, there are a lot of people out there who have Life Master Amulets, and I think that's one of the main things behind KI's idea to put Forest Lord um, and make it trainable with training points is because a lot of people have bought life master amulets or farmed for life master amulets in order to be able to heal you know using satyr, fairy, sprite, all those fancy things and um, the ability to heal is really important in PvP matches and even in PvE matches definitely in cheating bosses, long dungeons, you know farming runs where you have to go and get really cool and rare items um, so, I mean, if you're able to heal fast, you're able to survive better, but the ability to heal with life spells is something that not everyone can do because not everyone has mastery of life, so, you know. But I'd say that more than half of the people that play this game do have a life mastery amulet of some sort, and that everyone has the ability to farm for one. Alright, I am waiting for everything to load real quick. I don't want to walk over to the area ready to go and have it tell me I have to wait for it to load. Alright, I think um, I think the quest is in Shoshin Village. Let's see. Ooh, okay. Alright, well this is odd. What I think they need to do is they need to make it like an actual quest because if it, I don't know about that. Hang on, Cause this just makes it complicated. How? Village of Sorrow, right? Something, something of sorrow. Let me look around a bit, see if I can find it. So I don't have to go all the way back to my castle. Yeah, but they need to make it where it's like. You know, it actually puts the uh, quest inside your quest bank. And maybe the quest disappears or something once it's, you know, once the time's up. Alright, so let's check the map real quick, see if we're in the right area. Um, and we are not. Okay, so we are going to go back to Jade Palace and head over to Shiritake Temple. Or Yoshihito Temple, my bad. Get them confused a lot. I love how the Emperor's throne room on the map is like the it's like 
the size of the entire um, bazaar slash commons area of uh, Mushu of the Jade Palace. Emperor sure likes to live in sure likes to live in luxury. That's that's definite. Ninja piggies are everywhere. So while I'm doing battles, I'm going to turn some music on for you guys. I'm definitely going to turn some music on for now. While I'm walking there and while I'm in the battle, I'll turn some music on. I might pause it to, um, you know, say something about the battle or something like that. Um, so, yeah. Let's turn a little bit of music on. See what we got for, see what I got for you today. Mm -hmm. Cruise. Oh, good. Okay. It continues. I don't know if it's, if OBS records. Yeah, I think OBS just, okay, good. So, you know, it's not interrupting very much whenever I change my song. At least I hope it's not. I'm going to turn this music down a bit, though. So it's not too loud for you guys. Uh, I think I'm going to have her, should probably go to. Demons and all the night. 
No wonder I can't find them, they're invisible. Oh my god. So many skeletons and cows, but no... I will find these ghosts and I will kill them if they're asleep. Come on, where are they? This is my teleporter. Okay, that did not help. Uh, Fury Pastor, that sounds about right. That's good, right? Yes, yes, thank you. Fucking, pardon my all American friends, but fucking thank you. I found the go to. Yes. Fucking yes, man. Fucking yes. Oh! I think I'm going to say that out loud. Goodbye. Daily assignment completed! Yay, that was too easy. Okay, back to my castle now. No! Don't no. Alright. Alrighty, so that was the um one of the new daily quest assignments, which is kinda of odd. I'm definitely going to be recording every one of my daily quest assignments, by the way, guys. Um, don't really... I don't really know how they're going to do that, though, especially when it's on test run, because tomorrow, test run's going offline, so they're just going to end up resetting it back to day one. Going to end up doing the same quest over again. Should wait to load, right? Because no one is fighting gobblers, but they are all... Hmm... 
You don't have to. Weird face. Random person named Kyle. Yay! I barely remember this guy, but yes. Okay, next thing I want to show you, now that I think about it, I'm going to show you guys the gear vault. Now, for those of you who saw this, um, some of you may have seen this as an early release or, you know, the information was released early from Wizard101 Spoilers Twitter account. They've been doing that for a lot of the, um, a lot of the information or whatever that KI puts in their game files. Uh, the Gear Vault was one of them and they released an image of it with a blade in there. But we're, I'm going to show you how to use the Gear Vault so far or what the Gear Vault has or whatever. It's really not all that difficult. It's just like the uh, Seed Vault. Except, oh, I didn't know, alright, if you right click, it exits out of it, apparently, I wonder, yeah, alright, anyways, so, this is the amount of space you have in your gear vault, you get, you can put a hundred items in it, and when you click vault, that's what's, this is your backpack space, I don't know why they do it like that, anyway, so let's just put all of these items in here, so to put the item in here, we have to double click on it. Double clicking. I'm just gonna double click on everything in here. Double click it all. Don't stop believing. You can double click it. Alright, now we go over to the vault, right? Okay, you got all these items here. These are the items that I have placed in my vault. So I'm gonna exit out, walk around, lolly lolly la. If I wanna get the item out again. See, there's no items in my backpack except for what I currently have on. If I want to take an item out, say for example, if I wanted to take my Malastair's Boots of Flux out, I wanted to put them on. So obviously, you know how to equip an item. I hope so, at least. I will click it. Um, and yeah. So it's really not all that difficult. They have it separated um, by what kind of gear, item, or whatever you're putting in there. So you got hats, robes, boots, you have wands, you have your athems, amulets, and rings. What I do find good is that you can't put mounts and pets in there. Sadly, you know, most people would find it, you know, kind of odd that you can't put pets and mounts in there. But, you know, when you think of the game morally, <laughs> why would you stick all of your poor, cute, you know, little pets into a gear vault? But then again, why would you stick your pets into a, a bank or an attic? That's just animal cruelty. Anyways... I'm just going to wait. Recording a video. <laughs> Alrighty. So, the next thing I want to show you guys, I've showed you the Gear Vault, I've showed you the Gravium, or Gravulum Lodestone, and I've showed you one of the uh, daily quests. I've showed you the weird guy with the creepy scientist voice or whatever. Next thing I want to show you is the new fishing in Zafaria. So, we're going to go around through Zafaria, and I'm going to show you a little bit of it. Actually, pretty neat. Let me get rid of some stuff. Seriously, you don't know how to get rid of. Oh lord! So there is a lot of fishing, obviously, that's going to be going on for a while here in the. Uh, ooh, that is loud. We are going to turn those. We are going to turn that volume down a lot, my friend. Yes, we are. I'm definitely turning that down a lot. That is some loud stuff. So you can see the little shadows floating around in the pond now. The majority, I don't, the majority of these fish are not rank 1. Um, the rank 1 fish in this pond are the decoys. And the decoys are just as annoying as they are anywhere else. Um, I don't think those, aren't these, hey, I'm gonna check the sentinels here real quick. I caught one earlier. These are, these are sentinels here. Um, I've got 402 fish. Alrighty. Let's see. Around a bit. Where are you? You're somewhere in here. Why are you hiding from me? It's not nice to hide from me, man. <laughs> it's not nice to hide from me. Anyways, okay. <laughs> Alright, so we got the oil drum. The oil drum can be caught in, um... What is it? Um... What is that part of Zafaria? What is that called? Zamunda. Over there by the, um, 
Rhino encampment on the Broken Bridge. Pac-Man, these are Sentinel fish. They are rank... Rank 2, I think. Yeah, they're rank 2. Alright. So, I caught some rank... I'm going to show you how to catch some of these fish now. So most, I think the, I think the sentinels in a uh, Zafaria are ice. So the way to catch a sentinel, hang on, hope I did that right. Okay, I don't think I did that right. The way you catch a sentinel in Zafaria is whenever you throw your lure in there and you let the fish come to you. Don't let the fish like, as soon as it grabs the lure, you're gonna want to click the space bar. See, catching a um, sentinel is nothing like catching a normal fish. Catching a normal fish, you have to wait till the lure sinks. A sentinel will immediately, like, get rid of the lure, unless you spin it as soon as the as soon as it bites. You'll know it's a sentinel fish by this. Anyways, the Pacuman sentinel patrols the far end waters, gobbling up fruit, avoiding ghosts, and furiously alerting unsuspecting fish to your presence. So they are quite annoying. We are gonna... Okay, so we're gonna do some life ones over here. We got some life fish. Hopefully, we can catch some life fish without being interrupted by sentinels. Whoa, there. Okay, apparently not. All right, now, now, hopefully, we can. Come here, bad boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Let me come play, bad boy. Bad boy. Now, sentinel fish can scare away other fish, sadly. Alright, I think this fish can be caught in Celestia too, that's what I've been hearing at least. It's called the Fel False Cat Shark. It's a harmless cat shark and you just caught me. Or, I'm a harmless cat shark and you just caught me. It's okay though, just put me in a tank with catfish. I totally won't eat them. Real cat shark. So, it's a really cool looking fish. You got it's like a little puppy dog and it's got a little fin and it's got a little snorkel so it can blow bubbles. And it has a fish head, a fish mask on, so it's I guess it's a dog pretending to be a shark. I'm not exactly sure on that one. Oh, also the uh, new fishing ranks are you can go from rank one or rank zero, I'm not sure exactly, but rank zero, one, all the way to rank twenty. Now <laughs> I don't know how, I don't know if there's enough fish in the spiral to get you to rank 20, enough different types of fish at least. What I do know about the ranks though is that even after you catch one fish, you can still get XP from other fish that you catch. Um, anyway, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go through Zafari and I'm going to show you around. And we're just going to look for some areas where there's fish. So we're going to look for all the little ponds and all the little watering holes and all that. And... I'm gonna turn some music on for you guys again while we while we are in the process of doing that. So I'll stop and kind of look around each of the watering holes. All right, turn on. Let's turn on some new music for people who like new music. Give it to me.
exactly sure but I do not think this was here before I think KI literally just added this to be completely honest with you um, because I don't remember this being here the last time I was questing there in fact a lot of this looks a little bit different um, but I don't know it's a little neat uh, I wonder what happens so Apparently, you can't really fish off these sides because fish are all under there and over way over that way. So let's walk around the edges and see if there's anywhere else we can fish off of this. I guess not. Okay. Anyways, all the fish are way over here. And then, yeah. Alright, we're going to look around a little bit more, but now that we've found the fish in that area... Go ahead and turn the music back on for you guys. <laughs> Stefani uh, fans, but I can't stand that song very much. Like, I like it whenever I'm, you know, really, really happy, and I guess, I don't know, but I don't, not on a normal day. It's, it's too much. Alright, we're going to turn on some Mumford and the Sons, because that's awesome music. <laughs> Yeah. 
you may call it in the sea, but you only lost the night. Preset all your pretty feelings, may they comfort you tonight. And I'm climbing over something, and I'm running through these walls. I don't even know if I believe. I don't even know if I believe. I don't even know if I believe. I'm prob um heads up. I'm probably gonna be doing the um, skeleton key bosses in a separate, like in their own little separate videos, because I don't want this video to be like way too long. I'm just doing all of the, you know, mechanics and mechanisms and all the new fishing stuff, housing items. I'm just doing that in one video, and um, I'm gonna try and keep this video as short as I possibly can for you guys. Everything you're trying to say to me. off the bow of the boat. Why why it be so mean to me, mommy? Why? Oh, alright, let's try and get around here without getting caught. Okay. That's, ooh, it's never easy in this area. I think I just managed it though. <laughs> check over there. See if there's anything over there to check. If there's no fish in Drum Jungle, I'm going to be extremely disappointed with this because Drum Jungle, come on, it's a jungle. If there's no fish there, what is this game thinking? Dancing Queen. Oh, sorry, tired. Okay, good. There are fish here. I was about to go cray cray on this game. Ooh, 
Ooh, I gotta keep from getting caught. I don't really feel like fighting them right now. Or well, fighting anything right now. Um, I don't think there's any water up that way. Let's see, where's the nearest? Oh yeah, it's way down that way. I almost forgot about that. Okay. Normally I follow them, but I think I'm about to get caught. Why not? Okay. Maybe I'm sneakier than I thought I was. So there's some fishing over here in this little area by the boat. I wonder if we can go on the boat and fish off of it, like off the side. So yeah, you can fish off the side of the boat as well. That's kind of neat. I wish you could go up here and fish. What is up with that, KI? Why are you blocking our access? You can fish off here. And by the way, last time I said the bow, I think it's called the stern. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not much of a boat person, but just saying. All right. Mm, I don't think there's, actually I take that back. There is a large water area over that way if I can get around these gorillas. If You gorillas have to block the entrance all the time like that. You just huddle around in one spot and just block everyone. So, yeah, there's some fishing capabilities over here as well. And there is one more place we have that I need to check. If I can get over there without getting caught. That would be awesome, man. Friggin' awesome. Ooh, 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 monkey, 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 gorilla. Let's go, let's go, let's do this thing, come on. Really? Really? When I said let's do this thing, I didn't mean let's take our time and do this thing. I meant let's do this thing. Like, let's do it now. Like, pro. Like, fast, bro. Like, fast. Alright, now that we've gotten through it semi-fast. Hmm. Time to go into the elephant graveyard and look for some fishies. Yeah, turn the game music back on. Yeah. There are fishies here in the elephant graveyard. That is creepy. Let's look for these dark, creepy fishing areas. Oh, I think it's, if it's in these, is it? No. Aw, wanted to swim with the fishies. Okay, well there's people coming, okay. So here's all the fish, they're in the water surrounding the... You can see all these people fishing in the area. There's a lot of fish in this place though, in this part of the far, yeah. So it seems to me like fishing is becoming something that is extremely popular. People are really enjoying the whole, I guess you could call it, fishing movement of the game. Um, I think one of the main reasons people enjoy it so much is just, uh, that is creepy. I almost forgot about the sock puppets, or whatever they're called. Um, I think the reason that people enjoy fishing so much is it's kind of relaxing, you know? You just kind of sit there, and you throw your lure into the water, blah, 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 and all these magical fish come and touch and eat your magical lure. And there's a little bit of strategy involved whenever you think about it with the, with the sentinels, and then the fact that you... You know, some water you can walk into, and others, you know, other other areas of water you can't. Like uh, Darkmoor, the areas around Castle Darkmoor, you can walk into the water, and then the areas apparently in Zafaria, a lot of them you can't. But some of them, some of them you can't, like in uh, Baobab. All right, let's see. Now, what I heard was, I heard from someone that some of the castles got or were supposed to get fish in the houses, like, um, what is it, the Trinkle Cottage. So, what I am going to do is I'm going to go to my, um, my Balance's Trinkle Cottage, and I'm going to check that out. I'm going to go see if that's true or not. Carlos Battleforge. And then we're going to go to your, your, your new castle. No offense to all the low levels out there. None intended at least. Alright, click on all these bubble faces. And go on. So 
So it appears that there's no fishing yet in this area, or in any of the uh, low-level houses that I see. So, maybe that's being saved for another update, maybe they're just not going to add it at all, but hopefully they do eventually. It was something that Wizard 101 spoilers, um, Wizard 101 spoilers did. So, you know. I mean, so far the only thing they've gotten wrong, and the fact that they got it wrong was because of an April Fool's prank. Um, which I just took it as a prank whenever they released the news that it was a prank, I was like, okay. Um, I honestly don't think there's any reason to doubt their word anymore, by the way. Um, be unless it's coming around April Fool's. Hopefully they don't do something stupid like that again. Um, you know, it just kind of ruins their credibility. But... For now, though, I still have a little bit of trust and still kind of believe in them. I think they can do the right thing from here on out. I don't know how much longer that group's going to last, though. Hopefully they last, you know, longer than they're saying they will. Alright, so there's no fishing in any of the new houses. Let's check through the crown shop, see if there's anything new. Featured. Got the Road Warrior pack. Let's click on that real quick and see what we get from it. Oh. The uh, Road Legends. I got one of those. There's one. A uh, little pack opening video, I guess. I got the One Day. Road Warrior. This comes to show how much I need to buy some crowns. Get some of this new stuff. Apocalypse helmet. That sounds nasty. I wonder why it has that as a as its image though. Probably just a glitch. Okay, that's odd. I need to put that down and see what that does. Whoa, is that one of those? It is. Oh my god. I need a... Oh, I need to buy some crowns. I'm probably going to buy some later today if I can. Because I really need to buy some of those packs. I didn't realize that... I didn't realize that there was all that awesome stuff in this pack. Officer portrait. We got another road chopper one day. Another one. Oh, I got storm fuel for your time. Crusher's milk bottle. Oh, we got another one of these NPCs. Cards. Oh no, not aware. We got another one of those little guys. So apparently they're not really rare. Guess that's what I figure. From the fact that I'm getting quite a bit of them. Although I think I just got a new reagent. I thought it was a pet snack. Oh, it dropped some of those uh, new, or not new, but it dropped some of those Pyro 101 um, music scrolls. Propeller. Alright. I'm going to buy a few of the uh, witches horn packs as well.
Alright, so there's some pretty interesting items here you can get. I'm definitely gonna buy that new, the new pack for these, um, get some of these NPC guys. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you did. And don't forget to give me your opinion on the video. Um, I really, I'd really love to hear it. Alright guys, I'll see you later. Have a nice day. Enjoy Tesla on why you still can. Goodbye.